to the child balance. And this week, I need to look at how we take a child balance, make some adjustments to it, and then turn that child balance with those adjustments into an income statement or statement of profit and a balance sheet, a statement about assets, liabilities, and capital. So I've got a very simple trial balance here. I've got the account names. I've identified here, whether it's a balance sheet or an income statement item, the debits, the credits. And you can see in my trial balance, the total of my debits is equal to the total of my credits. Two things to remember about the trial balance. The first is that the trial balance has the opening inventory figure. That's the inventory at the start of the year that was carried forward, in fact, from last year. So we've got our opening inventory, and that is an income statement figure. That's going to be part of our cost of sales. And the capital figure is also at the start of the year. £550 in this case, that's going to go into our balance sheet. Now we don't know what our capital figure at the end of the year is going to be because we have to work out our profit. Remember that profit is going to be part of the capital figure at the end of the year. So now we're ready to deal with some adjustments and the most common adjustment we find is having to deal with closing inventory, closing stock. Trial balance has got our opening inventory. We now need to make an adjustment for our closing inventory. So I said there's closing inventory of £250, which we need to adjust for. Now, closing inventory is both an asset in the balance sheet, and it also appears in the cost of sales. So we're going to need debit inventory, £250, and that's the that's the balance sheet asset. And we're going to credit cost of sales. That's taking, that's actually reducing uh, our cost of sales figure. It's going to go, what we're doing here, we've got a credit that we're going to offset against the purchases effectively. And the purchases are the debit balance. You can see those in the trial balance. And we also need to record the workers' bonus that we haven't recorded at all because we've forgotten all about it. And that's a straightforward entry. We've got to increase the expense of wages. We're going to debit wages, 50. And we're going to credit payables. We still owe these wages, this, this bonus. It hasn't actually been paid. It hasn't been recorded. The chances are it hasn't been paid. So we're going to credit payables, or creditors. People we owe money to. So how are we going to show those, those entries, those debit and credit entries that I've written there, how are we going to show those on the trial balance? Well, the closing inventory is quite simple. We're just going to sort of add it on. putting my closing inventory onto my trial balance. And remember, I've got a debit balance, which is the asset in the balance sheet. And I've also got a credit balance, which is to cost of sales. So I can record my closing inventory like this, and you'll see that the total of my debits and the total of my credits is still equal. The wages, very simple adjustment to make. We've got to increase wages. I'm just going to put plus 50 there. And we're going to increase payables. I'm just putting plus 50 there. My trial balance still balances because the total of the debits and the total of the credits is the same. We're now ready to come up with an income statement and a balance sheet from the trial balance and taking into account our adjustments. We start with the income statement. We do the income statement first because we need to know the profit figure in order to know what our final capital figure is at the end of the year. Sales, that's just come straight from our trial balance, £2,000. The cost of sales is the 
opening inventory plus the purchases minus the closing inventory. That's how we calculate cost of sales. So we've got opening inventory of 100 plus purchases of 800 minus the closing inventory of 250. So we've got cost of sales of 650 pounds. That gives us a gross profit figure of 2,000 minus 650, 1,350. And we can now deduct from our gross profit our operating expenses, that's rent, which we get straight from our trial balance, 300 pounds. Wages, trial balance figure plus adjustment, 250. So we're going to deduct £550 of operating expenses and that gives us our profit for the year of £800. So that was fairly straightforward. And now we're ready to do our balance sheet. We'll deal with the assets first. Let's see what assets we've got. Well, we've got some equipment in our trial balance. We've got some cash. And remember, we've also got the asset of closing inventory. So we've got equipment, 500, cash, 850, and inventory, closing inventory of 250. So the total of our assets, 1,600 pounds. Now, let's look at the liabilities in capital then. We've got payables, straight from the trial balance with the adjustment, 200 plus 50, 250 pounds. And we've got capital. So we've got our opening capital from our trial balance of 550, plus the profit for the year of 800. So that profit figure goes down there into the balance sheet. That gives us closing capital at the end of the year of 1,350 plus the 250 in payable to give us total liabilities of capital of 1,600 pounds. So you can see that the total of our assets, 1,600 pounds, is equal to the total of our liabilities in capital, 600 pounds. Um, and that's the accounting equation, isn't it? Assets equals liabilities and capital. So that's how you will deal with a simple trial balance with some adjustments, and you can transform those into an income statement and a balance sheet. This is the last of my videos on double entry bookkeeping. Next time we will start starting completely different topics. Thanks very much for watching.